Hello. Oh, lighting really needs it. Oh, I didn't think it would be this. Wearing glasses today. Because of headaches. I have to go on my TV. So excuse me for a minute, let me get that. Oh. It's not even a headache. It's like, it's just pressure and I hate it. Maybe we'll play Silent Hill 1 someday because I have Silent Hill 1. I might turn up the lighting. You can't really see me. I have to find the power switch for my Oh, one second. There we go. I'm back. I was having technical difficulties. That's why the stream was a minute late. Not that anyone would know. Paying attention. One viewer. Woohoo, please excuse me while I tweet to the world that I'm live. Oh my god. Hello, one person who I suspect is probably on the computer downstairs. Oh, my earphone is low. What a night. I have these Bluetooth earbuds that I got from, I can't remember where. Um, it was a subscription service. It was like the gentleman's subscription service. Um, and I only joined because you could get these these little headphones. Um, and it was like ch cheaper to get them through the subscription service than it was anywhere else. Um, so I did. And they're pretty good. The problem is that I use them independently of each other. I don't use them ever at the same time. I love the blue sheen on them. That's why. Um, I use them independently of each other. And I've been using them independently of each other for so long now that they don't connect together the few times that I do want to use them at the same time. So, like, that's slightly annoying. And then sometimes they don't charge, which is also annoying. I have to turn on and off my headphone thing real quick. One sec. Okay. 
Oh, this is not where I was. Hold on. Huh. Well, my signed into the right PlayStation account. I should probably delete the other account. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That's why that happened. Excuse me again, real quick. And there's sometimes really, these headphones are sometimes a pain to connect with things, but I'm like off center and I don't know if I care enough to fix it. I forgot Silent Hill and Hades was exciting. I think I'm actually playing Destiny tonight. We'll probably be playing Ratchet and Clank. Silent Hill. What's the other side? I was gonna wear my hair down for the stream. I'm not talking to anyone, so let me wear this one. I was gonna wear my hair down for the stream, and then I was like, if I wear my hair, if I don't braid my hair, because Thursday is a hair washing day, if anyone cares. If I don't braid my hair on hair washing day, it just gets straight and gross. And I just don't, like, I need the volume, you know? Hmm. I just got an email from a small business I like I'm having a sale. Exciting news. Uh, computer downstairs, because that's all that's watching. Um, Honey Lambs, who is an independent toy designer who I love, is having a restock on Sunday. I hate my ears. I'm just like looking. Um, which that's exciting because I'm going to try and get Clarice. So Honey Lambs, how am I supposed to name this? He makes toys, but he makes like, he calls them trauma toys. Um, and they're like creepy toys, which I feel like was a big thing when I was a kid. I remember being like 12 and 13 and like the big things was like weird, creepy toys. Cause I know I went to a Sun Sun Coast video. Uh, shout out if you remember that. And they had like a toy that was like a cat that got run over. Um, and there was like a one eyed teddy bear. Um, so I definitely feel like creepy toys were the big thing when I was a child. I'm gonna redo this level because I want to get the bottle I missed. And I know that sounds annoying, but. I'm not a completionist in a lot of games, but like this is one of those where I really want to get it. Um, so anyway, Honey Lambs makes these trauma toys, and so his first one he came out with was called Tummy Tum, and it's a two-headed teddy bear. And uh, he also, which was really cool, came out with a tutorial on how to make your own Tummy Tum, which I do want to do. Um, and then his second toy was Pansy, who's like a sick... I have a... Oh my god. I could show you. Let's have a show and tell. Excuse me, real quick. I'm back. That was the most graceful. So, Pansy. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Is a six eyed, not six eyed. Eight eyed rabbit. Can I do math? Like two, four. She's like ten. Nine. She has nine eyes, excuse me. But this is Pansy. Now, this is the Valentine's Day variant. The original Pansy is like purple. Um, and his newest toy is Clarice, and she's a six-legged lamb, and I love her and I want her. She's the one I want most next to Pansy. Um, he recently came out with I'm just gonna keep talking about this because no one cares and I love I love honey lambs. Oh I did that, didn't I? Um 
So he did come out with Halloween variants last year. They were black. So there was like a black and purple pansy and a, I think it was just a solid black tummy tummy. Uh, and then this Valentine's Day, he came out with the Valentine's Day variant. So it was a pink and red tummy tummy, a white pansy, and a pink and red Clarice. Um, wow. Oh, it's like heat seeking. What the fuck? I need to like focus. Um, Anyway, I did not like the pink and red Clarice, but I did like the white pansy. So I got the white pansy. I can't believe I got it because he's one of those people that does like limited restocks. And I just feel like I'm never lucky enough to like get that stuff. But I literally, I literally set like a timer on my phone um, so I could get it. Um, and I was really, and it like the thing is, is like I'm slightly suspicious of the prices because. She would, the stuffed animals are only like $60, which yes, is expensive compared to like a plushie you could get in a store, but it's also really cheap for something that's being made by a small business. So I don't know, uh, but I'm not going to complain because I love his stuff. And I'm hoping that for Halloween, he'll do more of the black variants. I have to get up there because that's where the watch the the one bottle that I missed is yeah there it is I don't know how to get it I know how to get it I know what to do with it um anyway getting distracted I should probably turn off all this pop um so yeah so I'm hoping for this Halloween that he'll do the black variants again because I would love a black Clarice like if you go to Honey Lambs and look up Clarice uh you can, you'll just see, like, it's amazing. Um, oh, sick. I don't have to do the whole level again. I thought I had to do, like, the entire level again. Um, but he's doing a restock on Sunday of, like, the normal variants. I'm assuming. He actually hasn't said. But if they're the normal ones, I'm going to try and get Clarice. Because even if he does do the black Clarice later, it'd be so cute to have, like, a black one and a white one. You know? That's my exciting honey lambs news. Oh, oh I remember this game. I think I can just go back the way I came. This is so funny. Um, I have been having like a sinus infection for the past two weeks, and it's just been like god awful. Um, oh, a lost a viewer, I guess talking about honey lambs turned you in. Um, and like Tuesday was just really bad. Um, I was like, I just I'm like I can't sit there in those bright lights and. But I got some drugs from the store that I, that are helping. Um, I don't want to go to the doctor because I feel like I'm going to go to the doctor and they're going to be like, oh yeah, it's a science question. Go buy these drugs at the store and you'll be fine. And then I'll be charged like $500 for that visit. Um, and then I miss a bottle here. Oh dear. No one's paying attention anyway, so I'm going to go get the bottle in this location. So I'm going to look it up for slime cooper previous opponents. Um, and today the pressure for like the pressure from the sinus infection is not horrible. It's still there a little bit, but now it's like all I have left is like my eyes feel really heavy and puffy. And like, I just want to keep my eyes closed. Like I don't, it's like hard to keep them open and like blinking is really weird. Um, this one is found right at the area on 
top of the furnace door if it's already got that. Oh! He just came for me. I thought they stayed in one place. Right ahead is a vertically moving platform. You'll see the food dangling from the bridge. Still completely on the floor. Hello, Roy. Oh crap. Um, I'm redoing two Sly Cooper. Oh. Wow. This is the last clue I need. I wasted my life. For that clue. Um, so now I just have to get to the safe, which will be fun. I was having like, I started like a minute late today because I was having technical difficulties, and the te technical difficulties was that I didn't realize I unplugged the Elgato from my HDMI hub. The game isn't showing. Oh, fuck. How long have I been playing and I didn't? Wow. Professional streamer. It was showing earlier. Okay, now I have to make a big dip. Oh, that's the chat. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Because it was for sure... My windows, all that stuff. I don't even know. I don't even know when it disappeared, because it definitely was showing when I started. Because I was having all these issues. Um, stretch to fit screen. No. There we go. Um, on Tuesday, I tried to get my PS4 to work and it still wasn't working. Child abduction. Sorry, I'm being like overstimulated. <laughs> um, tried to get the PS4 to work on Tuesday. Still won't work. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I haven't tried hooking the PS4 up just to the Elgato. I'm trying to get it through HDMI hub. That's just like super convenient. I don't want to have to, like, the whole reason I got the hub is so that I don't have to plug and unplug things from the Elgato. Um, but I'm gonna try on my next day off, which is again, uh, not Tuesday, try and get it to work. But I didn't. Today I started late because, um, I didn't realize I had, like, unplugged the Elgato from the, um, the hub and like nothing was showing up today. I was like, what is going on? I was being like really frustrated and I realized that I just had to plug the Elgato in. Great. Not doing too good today. Good. I'm glad you found a fix. Yeah, like, I just feel like my brain is kind of at, like, capacity when it comes to, like, learning new things. Like, all this tech stuff is, like, too much sometimes. I don't know. It's like, whenever something goes wrong, I just, like, slightly freak out. I was able to figure it out. I just don't know what the issue is with PS4, and I can't think of why it wouldn't work, because it was working fine. Um, and then 
time it just stops. It gives me that green screen of death. Now it could just, maybe the PS4 just doesn't like the HDMI hub. In that case, I will just have to resort to uh, plugging it in the Elgato uh, directly, which is like a first roll. Oh god. <laughs> which, I mean, having to like unplug things and replug them in is like a first roll problem that I can like, deal with. Um, It's just like a slight inconvenience. I think I have the Ratchet and Clank collection too for the PS3, which is uh, very exciting because uh, along with this game, it's uh, Ratchet and Clank is like one of my favorite games. I really like Ratchet and Clank up your arse. It's a really good Press the circle to enter the vault code. I can't believe that is, wow. I piece this one together. That's exciting. Two, I love two, uh, Ratchet. I think they also had an I didn't expect this. I'm sure that there's a side to it. I was slightly upset with how they did this. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder. Yes, I can wire this yeah, so there was a side to it. to your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. See, that's why you have to go after the clues because you get that thing. Oh, which then shows you all the clues in the other level. Yeah, there was a rushing. Okay, wow. I'm behind on it. I also like don't consume media. Can I just leave? I think I have Dishonored for the PS3 too, which I will probably be playing. And I've really been wanting to play the second, but I also want to play the first one because my favorite game is Granny Rats. I was upset that she wasn't in the second one. I'm glad that that life right there responds every time. It's very nice. Fly! See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? This isn't my favorite level of this game. Uh, I like what I believe is the next level, which is where we go to like a swamp and it's like all voodoo-y and you like the main the main villain is like an alligator lady. Temperatures um, reading way off the charts in here. I cannot this remember the power source for the storm what. machine. Uh, in the second game. My favorite level is I close this. That was close. Um, in the second level, how do I get up? I can't speak. Today. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm recovering from a science. English is like not that good. Um. Yeah, it's definitely like Swamp Witch vibes, and there's like, um, like a bone snake that you have to run from it. Very fun. Uh, the second game, that's what I was trying to say. The second game, there's like this spider lady, vampire woman, and her, she has two levels because, um, as the game progresses, like, the bosses, the bosses get harder. So she has two worlds that you have to interact with. And the first one is like the insane asylum that she runs, which is really funny. And then the second one is like her home, is like this gothic island. So it's like very gothic Adam Family vibes. It's like ghosts and stuff. Like that. Yeah. That is naturally 
Tuts. Glad I didn't have to keep holding this one. A bunch of bottles up there. And see if I'm to jump on this. See. Watching one of my favorite streamers play Dark Souls before this. It was a main stream. My favorite streaming group. Oh, here we go. Uh, is Secret Seeker Society. Which, uh, if anyone watches Drocky on YouTube, it's Jacob and Julia from Drocky. Um, but it's just like the greatest stream. I got one of their hoodies. Very exciting. Um, and it's like, this is why I hate buying clothes online. I wear a large shirt from like every other place. And like when I make my own clothes, I make size large. Um, but this large from this place is like slightly too snug. I'm not gonna say it's too small, it's just more snug than I would like. Probably someone else would find it very good. Um, the cool thing about ordering from Tee Public, because that's where this hoodie is from, is that they show their clothes on like different sized models, which was helpful. Um, but yeah. Also, the hoodie is like not as lightweight as I think. That's like. It said lightweight hoodie. So I thought it was going to be like those like really light hoodies that are sometimes made from like t-shirt fabric. And technically this hoodie is made from like t-shirt fabric, but it's like a thicker t-shirt fabric than I thought it would be. Anyway, what I was trying to get to, I'm going to very randomly move there. Uh, I'm going to make the hoodie larger by adding fabric to it. So I bought some purple fabric So into the side seams. Hopefully make it fit. And it I was really don't fall in the bottle. Um, I was lucky to find purple fabric of a similar weight that is also like a similar color to the purple that's in my video already. So it'll look really cool. When it's done. I just I haven't had time to like sit down and actually like cut up the so I have another sewing project that I want to do too, and I have to do that. I want to make myself a robe out of a quilt. I bought a really cool quilt. Oh, this is the one. I have to run. Um, so I bought this quilt online. I'm going to make a robe out of it. Uh, and the only annoying part is that it's like a seven. I needed seven yards of material for this row pattern, which is almost like a king size quilt. So this is like a huge quilt. Um, and I have a tiny house. Oh, I almost didn't see that light. So I have to like figure out how to lay this quilt out on the ground and like cut it out. And it's like a floor length row too, because like I'm extra. And it'll be amazing when it's done, it'll be super warm, but... Now see, I got all 30 freaking things on the first try for this level. Anyway, when this robe is done, it'll be amazing, but I just, I need to, like, clear out space on the floor to cut it out. I need to go do that level again real quick, because the safe was all the way at the beginning. And I don't feel like... Running back to the world. And I was very torn when I came to this robe. So the reason I want to make this robe is because I've been watching the Mary Tyler show on. It'll be really cool. It'll be like one of the coolest things I've ever made. I just have to actually cut it out. And cutting out the fabric for any sewing project is my least favorite part of sewing. Um, cutting out the paper pattern and cutting out the fabric. I hate those two steps. Um, oh, I just ran right into that. But I've been watching the Mary Tyler Moore show, which is like a 70s show, and everyone in the show, well, not in the 
But Mary Tyler Moore and her friends on the show have like these quilted house coats that are essentially a robe that they wear around. And I'm like, so great. And patchwork stuff was a big thing in the 70s because 70s, like DIY was the big vibe in the 70s. Uh, Another page from the so if you look up like 70s fashion, you'll see like lots of like patchwork skirts, patchwork vests and stuff, macrame, stuff like that. Uh, Oh, I forgot about that skill. Uh, anyway, so I was I was trying, and I knew I wanted to make it quilted because it would be really warm. I do get cold. But I was like, do I want to buy the stuff to make my own quilt? Or do I just want to buy a quilt? And I was looking at quilts on eBay because a brand new quilt was going to be really expensive. I was looking at quilts on eBay and I found this amazing, like, perfect quilt because it's like yellow and red and blue with very 70s colors. Um, what is that? Unfortunately. Um. I fall in this. Yep. Yeah, and I just lost this. The damn thing. I don't even. Um. And I found this quilt, and it was a, it was a bid. And I don't, I know that obviously the thing about eBay is bidding on things, like bidding on things. But I was like, this is literally the, it was the perfect quilt, it's the perfect color, and it was the perfect size. I'm like, I have to win this quilt. So I bid on it, and then someone outbid me, and I had like a little bit of a bid war with this person. I did win. Um, so sorry to that random woman who didn't get her quilt. But I couldn't use it. Let's see. Who's that? It also came with pillow shams, which I don't need. Uh, my quilted coats. We're just going to talk about quilts. Um. I follow lots of like sewers and costumers on Instagram and like quilted coats and like, quilted things are the big thing I'm gonna enjoy right this. now. Um, there's a sewer I follow called Psychic Outlaw and she's like slightly viral because she makes um, I lost my train of thought in the middle of it. She makes coats out of quilts. Only one um, way to find out. I think it started that like people would send her quilts and she would make them a coat out of it and now she just buys quilts and makes I remember this one. Um so she makes quilts out of coats and then she sells them. Um actually I think what happens is you buy the quilt off her website and then she makes you a jacket of your like Oh, rude! I don't know. Oh, it just hurt my barrel. It didn't hurt me. So, um, and someone else who I don't follow, but she popped up in my Instagram because I follow a tag that she put on. But she just made like a quilted dress, which was really cool. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. Yeah, probably. Still in a Oh, a light. There is a Mary Tyler Moore reference. Not Mary. Well, Mary Tyler Moore as a person on the show. In WandaVision. Because the first era of WandaVision is the 50s. And, um, in like the. Oh, there's a horseshoe up there. Um, in the episode when Vision, like, in the. Cannot speak today. In the opening titles, when Vision is coming into the room, he trips on a like a, a cushion or like a 
Ottoman. Uh, that's a reference to the Dick Van Dyke show, which is where Mary Tyler got her start. She hates me. I don't get past this hula hoop. Oh, I'm being dumb. I feel like I should be smarter than this. I'm gonna play this one. I think I had to fall on that. It's what they were doing. So I have to sneak past these two things. a new game on my Switch. It's called Sea of Solitude. I don't know anything about it. I guess it's a remaster of a game when it came out on like a different system. I got the demo. My one complaint is that the demo was really short. Like I know that obviously it's a demo and you're not supposed to get the game. But I don't think that the demo was really enough. For me to understand how one the game, I guess it's also the point of a demo, but uh, the game was only 20 months, so. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I bought the game. It looks interesting. He plays like this weird feathered girl, and you're in like this sea. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, ah, yeah. um, but it looks interesting. I think my theory about the game is that it's all about like emotions and like inner turmoil. Um, because you encounter these monsters, and I think the monsters are like parts of her psyche. But the question is, is like, is she dead or is this like her mind? I don't know. It looks interesting. We'll probably play it on stream. I don't know. I've been playing Final Fantasy X2. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite games. Um, I adore Final Fantasy X. I love Final Fantasy X. X. First. Um, but X2 holds a special place in my heart because I didn't play X first. I played X2 first because I didn't have any idea what it was. I had never played a Final Fantasy game apart from a demo of Final Fantasy VIII that I got back in the day when they would send you demos on a disc from PlayStation Magazine. Does anyone remember that? That was fun. Um, and yeah, and I'm trying to remember where I remember seeing the ad for Final Fantasy X. Oh, am I supposed to bring that barrel all the way over here? Wow. No, I can't possibly bring it. Um, so yeah, I totally did play Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Um, I played Final Fantasy X 2 first. Um, and I made it through. I got the gist. And then obviously a few years later, I did go back and get Final Fantasy X, which is amazing. I love Final Fantasy X. I'm going to be honest. I've never beat Final Fantasy X because I get stuck. Um, I used to get stuck on Sin. Um, because you had to kill him before he uses his overdrive, and I was never able to. Um, now recently on the on the X X2 Remastered Edition, uh, 
I, for some reason, keep getting stuck at Seymour on Mount Gakazet. Which I don't ever remember having trouble with, but I'm gonna have to do some grinding. I don't enjoy grinding. Um, I know, I'm a bait. But yeah, I know what happens, obviously, at the end of the Did I miss... Five? I missed five. Oh, there's a couple of them. Um, oh, hello, David. I'm sorry, I'm rambling about Final Fantasy. Hello, David. Thank you for joining us. Um, anyway, so this is like, I don't know, my eighth playthrough of Final Fantasy X in general, not this one. Uh, but I'm determined to get 100% completion because I've never gone 100% completion. Um, and part of the reason why is because I have to do grinding. I think. There's a safe. So I'm at the area where the. Um, and you have to get 100% completion to get an episode complete on every level. And if you get an episode complete on every level, you get the mascot dress sphere, which is like a very funny looking dress sphere, but also like the most powerful dress sphere. So. Also, Final Fantasy X2 is like all about fashion, and I love it. Oh, you're watching on the bus. You were at work. I hope work wasn't. How do I access the gold? Whoa. Um, I know where I'm missing my completion point because I'm at 96% completion in the damn thing. Like, I'm close. Um, part of it is that, oh, I see what I have to do. I have to catch and raise chocobos, and uh, the chocobos, I have to send them. I have to raise so many to level 5. And then I discover this secret dungeon under the Chocobo Ranch and score that. And then there's another secret dungeon on my road. And so that's part of the completion points. And I think the other completion points um, I have to do... So in the Calm Lands... If no one knows what I'm talking about, let me know. But in the Calm Lands, there's all these like different... Uh, oh, two, four, two. Um, you can gamble in the Calm Lands, essentially. And I have to do this quest where I run around and tell people about the two different companies that work there. So that's part of my percentage. And then the last part of my percentage is there's this thing called Bia Infinito, which is like a dungeon. And it's 100 levels, and I have to complete all 100 levels. Um, and I, the final boss in there is harder than the final boss of the game, which Begnagun is not very good. Sorry. Um, and so it just requires grinding. But I love the game. I really want to get the mascot dress for because I've never had the mascot dress for ever. So, yeah, that's my Final Fantasy thing. And maybe someday I'll go and I thought about getting Final Fantasy VIII, because that is on the Switch. And I remember, as I previously mentioned, um, I played that as a demo when I was a kid. Have I completed everything? Yes. I have to put these keys in something. In there. Yes, I might get Final Fantasy because I the only Final Fantasy games I've played are 10 and 2, which 10 2 is amazing. If you don't think X2 is amazing, uh, you're dumb. Um, I think score this, right? Nice. And I tried playing 13, and I'm sorry, but 13 was god awful. I know that everyone wets their pants over Final Fantasy 13, but it was like playing a movie. Like, you would take three steps and there'd be an hour-long cutscene. Um, and you'd take three more steps and there'd be another hour-long cutscene. I was just so bored, and I thought the concept of Final Fantasy was so cool because you had those summons 
and everyone had different aeons, basically. Out of that cannon. Um, I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scary, but yeah, man. it was just, and then they made anyway, a sequel to it, and I, I don't know. Everyone says it's so cool, but I just couldn't get past the like so hour-long cutscenes. You show me those hollow what's it? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. I don't really have an interest like in Final Fantasy VII. I know that they just redid it. Um, uh, I did watch Christopher Odd play it, on my computer, so I feel like I don't have to play it. The one thing I like about watching people play video games is that it saves it saves me money. Because um, if I'm unsure about a video game, oh god, um, I can just watch someone else play it. And it saves me like sixty bucks. <laughs> um, now I do sometimes still end up getting the game, like. Little Nightmares is, is an example. I watched Christopher Odd play it, and then I ended up getting it. Because it's just so fun. Um, Darkest Dungeon is, again, another game. But that's also... Well, you found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's Darkest Dungeon is different for everyone who plays it. So. Use your sub to blast After this level, the we'll probably go. Right. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. I have like the worst. Learn a treasure key. You'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a tomb. Oh my god, this gave like 13 year old Kristen anxiety. Don't take I will kill you. Gave 13 year old Kristen anxiety. Gives 30 year old Kristen. Oh god! Get that chest because I'm the loved ones. I'm sorry for the screen. I got. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I hated that. I hated that so much. I feel like I shouldn't hate that at this age, but I hated it. <laughs> uh, oh, a free life. I do. Um, what else have I been playing? I took a break from Marvel Ultimate Alliance, not because it wasn't fun or anything, but because I, I don't know, I wanted to play something else. Uh, Yeah, started X2. I just, I freaking love. I could go on and on about my love. And then I got this Sea of Solitude game, but I haven't actually played it. Apart from the kind of meh demo. That's. It. I've been playing Animal Crossing. I had a weird thing happen in Animal Crossing today. I think it's part of the update. Um, Wolfgang? Are you serious? Wow. Was walking around the town square with like some purple squigglies over his head. And he was worried that Meringue thought he was annoying. And I had to like comfort him. And it was really weird. Um, it was cute that I had to, like, tell him that he's not annoying. But I've never had that happen before. 
board, so I think it's a new up. I'm also preparing myself for Bunny Day Part 2. Or I should say, like, the sequel, because that's how. I love it. I played every day. They stream is like not very popular. Not that I'm not a huge fan of the block. I wonder how the bit works. That's the end of the level. There's like multiple places. I really like how the second game works. Oh. oh god. Fuck it up. The second game is really interesting because it's like slightly open world. I keep talking about this. So the second game, the way it works is that you have like an open area that you run around in and you can steal things like you can actually steal things and you sell them on like the black and you get money the money you can use for powers and stuff uh, i'm gonna go back um, and then there are specific locations that you go into to do like heist breath um because each mission you do is like help you in preparation for like fights. It's very fun. Um, and there's also levels where you play as Burry and Bentley. Which is really fun. Bentley involves a lot of hacking and stuff. And then Murray is also about like mainly fighting people or lifting heavy objects because Murray is like this And they also redo Murray slightly in the second game and they make him better. He's kind of annoying in this game. And the third game is basically the same, um, but I, just, I didn't love the third game. I did not hate it, um, but it was like just slightly, there's something slightly weird about it, but I just didn't, he turns back around. It was kind of weird. It was interesting because like a lot of the villains from this game become their allies in the third game. Uh, yeah, and then... The one I didn't beat was the fourth one, which is about, like, track time travel. Um, I thought it was really interesting. I just, I think I got distracted. It was, like, really good game. Bring it. Bring it! See, now I'm getting, like, all the bottles on, like, the first track. I did a bunch of cooking today. I got these like huge sausages at the grocery store. And they're really big. And the thing I like about this grocery store, this grocery store is called Coons. And it's like, when you go in there, it's like going into like another decade. It's very like, I don't want to, it's like late 80s, early 90s grocery store vibes. And like, all the people working there wear like button up dress shirts with like this apron over them and they have like a deli that makes like really good meat and like the sausages were made in the deli they weren't like sausages bought brought into the store um i feel like i should be on supermarket sweet when i'm in this grocery it's very interesting um, yeah but it just i feel like i'm in a different decade but i got these huge sausages uh so i made sausages I wasn't planning on it, but I ended up making mashed potatoes because I had a bunch of potatoes I forgot about and they were starting to get eyes on them. So I cooked them. What can I do? Let's see. 
Oh, a bunch of levels. Or does that mean I got the key? That I got? Is that everything? For some reason I thought there was like a million. Oh, wait, I have to do ads. Okay, before we do the boss, I'm gonna do ads real quick and then we'll get, we'll continue talking about all my cooking. <laughs> Let me. Like so. It kind of worked out perfectly though, because it ended up being right at seven. I had to restart my computer. I didn't have to restart my computer, but I restarted it because I thought maybe the computer was. <laughs> the reason why things weren't working but it's just that I'm dumb uh, so I would love to run a minute break. I'm gonna check my messages a bunch of notifications I wish I could do the ad break for the streams. Maybe I can, I'm just dumb. Cancelled my stream. For anyone. I hope no one can probably hear me. Welcome back. Um, I should probably do more ad breaks. I think like the thing that Twitch wants you to do is like three or four ad breaks. I think that when you do an ad break for every like half hour, okay, I just don't, I just don't have the memory. The memory to do that. Uh, what did I end up? Making? I ended up making sausages, mashed potatoes. Actually, it was like mashed potatoes and cauliflower because I had a cauliflower I used to. I just cooked that all together and mashed it with some cheese. And then I made bone in and skin on chicken thighs. And I cooked this carrots and cheese. And then I made some soup out of the lamb bone that my friend gave me. Um, and you're probably wondering, that's like a lot of food. And it is, but I only do cooking like once a week. So Listen, it's all with leftovers with that we're going to eat throughout the week. What's mine, I don't have to expect the company. Oh. The rest of the week. And I also made bread. So I made a whole wheat bread using applesauce. It is really good because I still um, I recently rediscovered my bread maker. We had left it at my house. And then right now in the bread maker is a pumpkin bread. So we'll see how that comes out. Bring it on. The bread maker is amazing though because you literally do like five minutes, if that, of work. You just put everything in inside of it. I have to hit him. Oh right, that was what I was supposed to. Do. Um, so you put everything inside of it, and then it stirs it. And then that's it. Like you, you just you hit start. And you don't have to do anything. It takes like four hours. But like that that's too slow. But like that's it. It needs it, and then it rests. And then it needs it some more, and then it rests, and it needs it a final time. Unless it rise for like half an hour. We need to like not be so far away. Um, take a shot every time I say um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 
And then it bakes it, and then it also cools it. It has like a fan that like sucks the air out. All right. This is this is the game. Okay, that's the play. That's what I. Mean. Um. So yeah, it's like the most amazing. Now the loaves do come out a kind of weird shape because it's like it's a cylinder. So. So the loaves come out very tall and round. Um, but like that's like a first world problem. Yeah, this is. The so, yeah, but now I'm just gonna. I told all my friends, I'm like, everyone's getting bread for Christmas because this thing is amazing. I think the only problem about is with my friend Linda because she's gluten free. So I had to find um, a gluten free recipe. But like, that'll be fine. It's just uh, this machine. Oh. Oh, okay. I can do this. This machine is like from the 80s, maybe the 90s. Um, before gluten free was like. I'm not saying that gluten free didn't exist, it's just we didn't. This battle's annoying, and also the next battle. Is <laughs> oh. I feel like he should have gotten small. Oh, I can't wait. Get to Sly Cooper 2 though, because one of the like little power-ups you get is like a parachute that you use to glide around, and um, I I think that's funny because it's because I know that that's a big thing in Breath of the Wild, and like a lot of games do that mechanic now, and I just want to be like Sly Cooper did it first. I'm sure someone else did. So. I really want to play Breath of the Wild again, but like. I also beat it. I didn't get 100% completion, but... When is it gonna get small? Um, I really like Breath of the Wild. It was the first Zelda game, and probably the only Zelda game until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Oh, the faster. That I've ever played. Um, the DLC was really fun. I was kind of annoyed with the one DLC because it was just like, oh, fight the Ganon forms again. Um, and I can't even remember what I got. But the second DLC, where you had to you had to fight like this really hard. Um, You know how like when you investigate those temples in Breath of the Wild and there's those like shriveled mummy people? You have to fight one of them. And it was really difficult. Um, but I did it, and for beating that person you get the motorcycle. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so this time we should bring small wreck. We did, and I fell off! Oh my god. I think the only thing I- I mean... There's probably tons of stuff I've missed in Breath of the Wild, because I know that you can get like different kinds of fancy horses. And I haven't found all the temples, and I probably should. Um, the part of me is like, do I want to start a new game and do all that stuff, or do I just want to go into my current existence? But I do love Breath of the Wild. I really like it a lot. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, because I've seen Legend of Zelda games played, and they always seem boring. I remember watching my ex play, um... What was the one before Breath of the Wild? 
wind way better. But that one just looks cool. And now that one's coming off the switch. I'm debating if I'm... Why did... Why did that not... Work? That was weird. So this time he should turn small? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why he keeps... <laughs> and then I need to jump above his tongue. And I misjumped. Awesome. I can do it. It's all about time. Has everyone heard the news about the gay Captain America? Apparently Marvel, for their 80th anniversary of Captain America, they're doing like a comic series about different Captain Americas looking for Captain America, so I guess he's missing them. Um, anyway, one of the Captain America, one of the Captain America, I remember his name. He's like a homeless gay teen. Well, queer. I don't think they've said exactly that. He's... Oh my god. Oh, great. Anyway, he's a homeless gay teen, and he wears like overalls, and his shield is a trash can, and he like fights to like protect like queer homeless youth, and it sounds amazing, and his outfit's really cool, and like I'm not a cosplayer. But if I was gonna cosplay someone, it would probably be this Captain America. Because he looks rude. So like, these are little Googlers. Google it. It's, 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 it's. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> That's funny. Google thought I was talking. Oh wait, I can't stay. He should turn small this time. Oh, fuck. I guess I'm hitting his hat. And that's what's making this. Damn it. I miscounted. like six jumps to six. Oh. Try I'm trying to hit him too soon. They gave me a horseshoe this time. It's like dying. Oh God! You beaten me. Well, gloat all you want, Sly. This like un. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. I don't like this. I thought the next level was so well guarded. A snake. Couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> this is like that was like the most underwhelming. The section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to defeat ever. Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me. Busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, oh, I should turn the sub back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded. Oh, from well, oh wow, four viewers. Welcome. My gang and you I missed me. Beat the, the frog man. Enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist.
I took the liberty of pinning your That's Oh. Uh, there's no there's no option for something. So We're all set sorry. to go to Mesa City. Hello everyone who's watching. Welcome to the stream. I've been back My foot's asleep. It's exciting. Next up, the notorious mug shot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thong. Oh. What he lacked in like brains, this. he definitely made up for in brawn. I don't Turns hate out he this. wasn't always that way. He grew up as the I'm... run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. Masculine. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He become a hard-boiled street brawl. The age of unskippers ensuring that he never be kicked on or pushed around again. So I'm debating what next-gen console I want to get. I think I'm leaning towards the Xbox. The only problem is I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So he's holding um, Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to drive in American Boomtown. I am like limited on this space because I have the original Xbox. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, 3, and 4 on this. You can't see it, but it's on top of a, like, wide dresser. And the newest Xbox is what? It's the one that looks like a fridge, correct? So that's that's an interesting shape that I just don't know if I can, like, fit into my life right now. And I also want an Xbox because when they eventually come out with Fable 4, Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take My husband should be and miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section huh? of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja oh, spire jump? Table. Oh yeah. Do me a favor I really and read me the instructions again. I mean, I wish they would put every game on the Switch. But I really wish they would put the fake. The triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. I love the so fake. Jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. I've never beat the first one. I love the second one. I I have like a love hate relationship with the second game because I think the story is really great and I think it's overall like a good game. It's just I kind of hate the character design <laughs> design because your character, no matter who you pick, they just get ugly as they get because as you progress in the game, you get like stronger and buffer. Um and you just like all the men end up looking like like 1930s like strong men and all the women just end up looking like very big and bulky and i'm not saying that muscular women aren't attractive but they are it's just this this game doesn't do it right um so it just it ends up looking weird um they definitely fixed it in the third game but the third game is also a little bit different because the third game you have a set character well i guess you have a set character in the second game um, but your character also speaks in a very it's like really cool. I love I love all the games. I just I never beat the first game because it's it's hard. It's like a different one. And it's really different going into the second fable going into the first fable game after playing the second fable game. Because in the second fable game you only have like a limited amount of enemies. Like you fight werewolves and bandits, beetles, and there's probably a fourth one getting. Um, but then, like, after you encounter Valverines, uh, werewolves, all the wolves in the game are replaced with uh, Valverines. Um, and then that's it. You still fight, like, Valverines, men, beetles, and like these weird floating obelisks. And then playing the first game, there's like so many more things that you fight. You oh, the other thing you fight in the in the second game, 
or hopped, like little hop Um, and then playing the first game. Hello. Uh, playing the first game, you fight wolves, beetles, wasps, uh, evil dark fairies, uh, it's like all kinds of different creatures. So it's just it's it's really I want to I'm interested to know why they chose to like quote unquote dumb down the uh, enemies. So. Oh, finish some cooking, yay. We were just talking about cooking. I did a bunch of cooking today. Thursday is like, get stuff done day. So it's like, it's the day I do a bunch of cooking, it's the day I wash my hair. Yeah, do a bunch of stuff. I guess I could do more cooking on Tuesday, but Tuesday is also grocery shopping. Okay. And that takes a lot out of me. Oh. I like how that second dog was bowing, because I think it was the Trying to make sure I didn't miss any bottles. Oh, I didn't want that. That's for the safe. There's more bottles there. Oh god, oh god. I need lots of bottles. Can I jump from here? I feel like. Oh. Viewers, if someone didn't like it. Yeah. Ran out of things to talk about. Oh, god damn. I hate that water kills me. It's a very, like, 2000s, early 2000s game. Water is the duck. Oh man, you know what I really want to play on this channel? It's an awful game, but I love it. I have like a love hate relationship with it. Uh, Bullet Witch. Um, that game sucks, <laughs> but it's also fun. It's like a guilty pleasure game. Son of a bitch. Uh, I feel like that. I'm out of lives. I shouldn't be as mad about that, but I am. Um, I feel like Bullet Witch was like the spiritual successor to Bayonetta. Um, in a way. Like, it's not really the same, but it it has, like, vibes. But you play as this girl, and she's a witch. Oh, so the plot of the game is that the world was, like, hit by, like, a series of natural disasters. And then demons attack. So I feel like we're just gearing up for that. Right. Um, can you play this girl? I believe her name is Alicia. It's like a very... Oh, there's water is the devil. And your goal is to like save the world from these demons, basically. But you have this giant gun that's called her gun room. And you uh, fight... And it's just, like, not well done. <laughs> uh, the concept of the gun room is amazing. Because um, I love, like, a woman with, like, a giant weapon. So that's just, like, a trope that I love. Um, but, like, it's just weird. I'm definitely going to show it to you guys because it's, it's, like, a fun game to play when you, like... Well, I, the jump wasn't rough, I just did it wrong. 
I thought I could cheat. I'm supposed to jump on this little thing and then jump over here. And I thought I could cheat and just bypass the little thing. Huh. Now that was an accident. I fell off the barrel. Um, but Bullet Witch is really... It, it, it's fun in like a dumb way. Because it's not... A you get some cool magic spells. Um, trying to think, like I think like one of the first spells you get is like summon lightning, and then you get like the ability to like summon a tornado, and she has like this demon sidekick that like lives in her brain, uh, which is neat. Um, the one of the really cool spells you get is called Murder of Crows, and you just summon like a bunch of crows to like your enemies. It doesn't like kill them, but it just distracts them so you can then shoot them uh, without being shot at yourself. So it has like promise. It was just, I think it was just done for me. Like if I if, if I was ever given the opportunity to like remake a game, game it would probably be that game because it could have been like really cool. And you get four different gun rooms. You get the first one you start out with is a machine gun. And then you get the sniper rifle, which admittedly is the worst gun, and I don't know why they got it. It's like it's just impossible to use. Uh, you get a shotgun, which is okay. And then you get the best one, which is the Gatling gun. Um, and then they all have different elemental associations. So the machine gun is fire. And the sniper rifle is wind, which was dumb. Uh, the shotgun. Oh no, the shotgun is wind. The sniper rifle was light, which was dumb. And then the Gatling gun is electricity. And the cool thing about the Gatling gun is if you use the electricity to power on it, it will jump to other targets as you're shooting them. So that's cool. But the game is just like not. It had, like, good design, but, like, the execution. There's these, like, creatures you fight called walnut heads, and they're, like, men with, like, giant brains, and they generate, like, psychic force fields that you have to pass in order to... I feel like there's something... back there that I'm trying to, like, see what that actually is. I feel like there's something behind this fence. I feel like there's bottles. And I can't bring it. So we're just gonna zoom. Um, yeah, we'll probably play like bullet. Just for like, not necessarily for like any kind of story. Or like, not to play it to completion, but just, just to, to, it's a fun game when you want to blow stuff up and like cause chaos. Which, admittedly, I love. And I think I have a save file on my Xbox 360, so I should be able to play it and like have all the weapons already. Oh. This is where I keep dying. I think I need to double jump. I'm suing this. If I, I have... I was going to get really pissed because I thought I was going to die despite the fact that I had a uh, horseshoe. Oh, God. Um, I really appreciate the second game for giving us a health bar, not this stupid, like, one hit and done. I really... Uh, that was close. Got a big fair Hmm. I'm missing. I'm missing one freaking bottle. You best believe I'm gonna find it. Wow. 
Oh, five viewers. Wow. Welcome to watching me die a bunch. So we're not going to go that way. I'm pretty sure the bottle I missed has to be back here somewhere. Oh, of course you The game realizes that I suck. So it's good. I hate the controls for these phenomenons. It's just weird. Oh. I forgot that, that was my current like special move. Get over here. There's truly nothing over. Here. Hold on. Yep. Had to get up pretty early. But there you get it. What TV shows uh, I I finished At Home with Amy Sedaris. Um, I thought the last episode was not good. <laughs> uh, this is where I keep dying. It's really got it. Really got it. Like, mash that circle. I heard noise and I thought I was gonna like fight. Um yeah, so like at home with Amy Sedaris was not great. I'm still really sad that there's no more Lovecraft country to watch. Please don't run. Oh wait, I have to go find the safe now. Forgot. Shit. Let's do this without that. Um, I retract my previous statement. Oh, I had a, a doohickey. Um, <laughs> How many lives are there? Three of them. I had to remember where the day safe is. Why am I getting stuck? Oh, the safe's up there. We got this spot. We can do this. I probably could have made it. Probably didn't have to wait. Though. Is that the safe? I promise I know it. Okay, now I'm kind of- oh, and then I also finished, um, His Dark Materials Season 2, which was really good. They did some things different than the book, but it wasn't, like, horrible. So I'll- Press the circle to enter the vault code. A little bit of higher mathematics and- I'm really interested in the third- oh my god, six viewers, what is this? Um, I'm really interested in the third season of His Dark Materials because there's a lot of like mystical creatures that they're gonna have to like animate somehow and I'm curious to see how they do it. Outstanding! What a You've cat. uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Um, use the triangle button again to Because they do a really good job with the demons. A, a slightly too first. good of <laughs> Of a job with the demons in his book materials. Um, there was a scene in season two where Mrs. Coulter's monkey fights uh, Lyra's pan, and like the screams for the monkey because he was in pain were like too real. Um, they like made me upset. Oh, I didn't want to explode. Um, and then 
Yeah. So that, like, that scene was, like, kind of hard to watch. Um, or listen to, I should say. Because, like, the monkey screams were just, like, really. This is a monkey that is screaming in pain. You have to listen to it. Um, okay, here's where I keep messing up. This is, like, but I keep making myself go back and forth because I keep missing things. Um, and in season three, oh, and they also did the specters really well. I really, I had no idea what they would make the specters look like. I didn't really have like a clear idea of what the specters looked like in my head. Um, but I liked how they did it. Sure. But in the third season, there are these creatures called Mufalada. And they're just, they're a wild ride. I, I can't really describe them to you, but they're really bizarre. -like. And so I'm really, really interested to see where they take them. And then there's also a lot of angels in the third one. So I'm, and they kind of showed the angels as just like light, with like wings, like beings made of light. And I'm just, I think that's going to be weird because they're there's a couple like big name angels that are like big players in the third season, so I'm curious. Well, third book, and I'm just curious to see okay, what so they actually. But, to find but it's a really good show so far. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live. But there's still a special fire place in my heart. Well, that's for there's something about the steampunk that's just cursed when it comes sure to like the movie theater. And like, it just doesn't do well in theaters. Oh. Uh. I forgot that that character is gone. It's the boss. I forgot. I forgot how he spoke. Murray's big I... So I had to play as just Murray in this. Actually, I don't think I play as Murray. I think I control it. Yep. Murray I have to protect Murray with covering fire. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog yes. stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. I have the worst posture. Time to move, Sly. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they make Murray like a big chicken in this one, and then they like retcon it in the second game and make him that he's like really strong and like he's super hero, which I like a lot better. Um, Yeah, maybe there's going to be No good shooting! What? What happened? How'd I kill him? I think I shot an explosive. Let's go, Sly! And they also changed his outfit. Which I like. This, this outfit's kind of bad. They don't change it for me. I think they get rid of the scarf. And instead of giving him the backpack, they give him red gloves. No. My bullets hurt him? Are you serious? Friendly fire? Ah. Okay. I am 30 years old. I can do this. I've played Blood Bowl. I feel like I should be able to handle this. I don't know if we're ever going to play Blood Because I love Bloodborne. But I've noticed that I tend to do bad on games while talking. And so... I... What? 
Okay, so apparently I cannot hit those barrels. Because they'll kill him, don't you? Yeah. I'm going in, Sly. Oh, no. <laughs> See, this would be fun. As much as I hate motion controls, this would be kind of fun to play on the Switch with, like, motion controls. Hey, I don't know how I hit that guy. Didn't hit Murray. I feel like there's someone. Here. I can't hit the toxic barrel. Still. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> Don't let's hit your friend. Yeah, gas barrels explode. It makes sense, but like, when I shot the one gas barrel as an experiment, Murray was very far away, and it still killed him. I'm going in, Sly. Oh. I thought that was weird. Oh. Also, this like, reticule that I'm using to aim is not like the most precise thing in the world. But I think I'm also thinking with like 2021 gamer brain, and I need to be thinking with like 2002 gamer brain, or whenever this game came out. Someone's gonna come through there again. Yeah. It also zooms in and out randomly. Halfway there. God. Where? That, where? Oh, it was like a fake out. I'm getting like too stressed. <laughs> was more stressful, that or the level of the crabs. Well. I don't get time to, like, reach you. I just jumped off and did this, assuming that there would be a, a ground. Oh, this is a cute level. The level design for these games is like so cool. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. Oopsie, ouch. Oh, Oh god. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I ha actually have to not kill Shut This isn't the song. So. Let me just jump. They're both gonna go up there. Is there a bottle on that side? And then I have to get past this dude. I honestly want to kill him, but I guess I won't. 
bottle down there. Stuff down there. A horseshoe. Now, what if I kill both of these men? I feel like you're getting Are there any other people? No, okay. I'm gonna kill these two guys. And if it bites me in the butt, then you all can say. It looks like it didn't bite me. So. I'm trying to remember how the boss battle like this. Oh. I probably should have looked around before I. I just kind of assumed that there was. No Awesome bottles up there. Oh, 40 bottles for this level. That's a lot. Oh, almost missed out. So, I'm not gonna worry about getting those bottles until I deal with the lights. There we go. This is like terrifying. Is it? Oh god, I didn't even see that. I have a horseshoe, buddy. I destroyed these. Oh, I should have been destroying these earlier. Something about this casino seems off. It seems like a bit of like a health hazard. I'm not like an expert or anything. But I'm just, I'm not sure if this would pass like a code, like a health inspection code. Again, I'm not an expert, but. Huzzah. Surveying the area. I think I have a game down for this on Xbox. I haven't played much of all the feet. I think. Oh. I didn't see him. I didn't play much of that game. But I remember the controls were basically the same as Dishonored. You know, you weren't really supposed to, were supposed to steal things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I remember when it came out, it was a big deal because the graphics were really good. But then afterward, I think a lot of people said they didn't like it. I like stealth games where you have to like, like either kill people or disarm them. I'm not sure how well those games do on stream though, because you have to be like very, you have to be very slow about it. And I imagine that may be kind of boring to watch someone on stream. Sneakily. Finding a way. There's a game I have for the Xbox 360 called Velvet Assassin, which is based on a true story about a woman in World War II who hunted Nazis. And that's a really fun game, but again, it's stealth. I just don't know like how exciting that is to watch. 
36 out of 40. I feel like I haven't missed it. 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay. So they keep on hitting start to close the, the binoculars, and I don't know why. Man, I'm getting swift with deciphering these codes. Dial three three eight. I think the codes are different every time, so I don't I, like to think about the codes. Okay, this page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B. F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Hmm. I know one character change they made the Sly in the second game is they got rid of the backpack. Wait, that's the way I can. No. They got rid of the backpack and gave him like a leg pouch instead. I always thought that was funny. Too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Um, if only I had some kind of power that would slow down. Aha! I think we have time for one more level. The levels do kind of get like progressive. Yeah, next, after Mogshot is the Voodoo Lady. Uh, and then the main. When did he hit me? I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Oh. I love the speed. Good thing we're done soon. So I have to use the best. going on down there well i drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack and the next thing you know i'm getting <laughs> challenged for a race by these gangster dogs is there a key in it for the winner yeah three times around the track for a key it's all you man drive the van with the left analog stick and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups you can get a boost by pressing the square button go get them i'm on it <laughs> Where's my friend Drew? Loves racing. Hey, that was my nitro. Oh, I Where to save Oh, there. I passed it very quickly, but there is a billboard for Miss Ruby's something rather, and Miss Ruby is the next villain.
There we go. Okay. Making progress. Making my way down. I'm I'm so bad at racing games. As much as I love um Crash Bandicoot racing. I loved it once I did. Never was a big Mario person. Oh, that was three. I didn't realize that was three times already. We need that key. This is it. This is it. This is the. This is the moment. I wasn't paying attention to how many laps I had made. I feel like when it, when there's games that have like a forced racing section that I have to do or had to do, but I don't play any games now that I'm racing. Um, I feel like I would always try and like glitch the system, like get them all stuck or something. Or do something like that. I've really been wanting to play Kingdom Hearts again, and I'm just like, I'm dreading it because of that damn battle with Riku, um, which I feel like is everyone's like most dreaded battle. It's a tough, not really, it's a tough battle. Um, I remember as a kid, I always had to have my older brother do it. I remember when I was a little bit older, like the first time I beat it by myself, I was like super happy such a struggle. I feel like every other boss after that is easy. Like, Ansem is not that hard. It's just that battle which we do is like the worst thing. These cars are so slow. It's like, it's That's like finish like Man, those crummy dogs. That's closer. That's close. We'll get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. I need to find some caps lips. And it doesn't help that like my new anxiety tick is like biting my lip, which I've never really done before, but now my brain has been like, hey, you should just like eat your flesh. I found a few games I want for the Xbox specifically. So, or not the Xbox, but the classic Xbox. Because a lot of my favorite games are on the PS2, and I just I can't get it for it. I don't know what to choose. Um, but I found X Men Legends One and Two for the original Xbox, which is really exciting. And I found the Haunted Mansion video game, which is a really cute, if you if you like Disney and like puzzles, I highly recommend that game. It's just really, really cool. And what else did I else? I wasn't able to find, oh, there's a game I really like called Ghost Hunter. And that's apparently a PlayStation exclusive. That's a really good horror that I don't think a lot of people talk about. Um, I think there's something else as a horror. I do want to get the Golden Compass video game. I have a friend that's played it, so it's a cool game. But I need to see if I can find it for the Xbox. Where is he? I can't even see him.
Damn it. Man, that was almost it, y'all. Well, get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. I'm gonna try it one more time. If that doesn't do it, then we're just gonna it's almost there. Shit, that was like my moment. They were all like tangled up. The thing that sucks is that the track is very curvy and the nitro blast are like really good on straightaways. And I'm trying to stick to the inside of the curves, but the curves are also like <laughs> angled. It's hard to. Hopefully you can see it, like, they're, they're not, like, perfect curves, so you want to stay with the inside of the curve because you get slightly more speed that way, but they're pointy. Uh, there's, those people are too close. good thing is that we're all kind of like the same speed, so like, once you get ahead of someone, you stay ahead of someone, unless you make like a like bad move, but... There we go. Okay. Oh my god. I'm too excited about that. Uh, this is... I look confused. I don't normally wear my glasses on stream because of the reflection, but like I said earlier, I have... I have a sinus infection. The headaches are like, just doing me in. Okay. Also, do we love this vest? I love this vest. Wow, that was fun. Um, I will most likely be back on Tuesday unless like I'm dead or something. Um, we'll probably play something else. Maybe we'll play Bullet Witch just to like blow stuff up and be chaotic and like show you how like bad it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat some soup. Hope everyone has a good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and chatting. See y'all next time. Bye.